Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU Volume 2. This is some type of artist. Uh, what were we doing last time? I think we got a scythe last time. Was last time the episode that I had a bunch of uh, messed up footage? I think it was. Anyway, what's in the mail today? Hello, Asao. Would you like to go leveling up so we arena members can all get to know each other better? Lord Zelkova told me of Theta excusing Illusion's Root is a great place to level up. Hmm. Kind of interesting, Zelkova just had that random term there. And that's just for the Pikmin model thing we did. Yeah, last last episode must have been that. I mean, it's... it's I, I still can't get over just how many people have, like, area words ready to go. Like, what about it makes it a good leveling up area? Like, I... Any area is a good leveling up area. You just have to, like... Just go to a place that gives you more experience. Like, a better... Like, just a few levels higher. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's like, one of those things where I guess you really just have to think of the context of the world itself. And it's, like... This virtual reality online game. And we're not doing things nearly as fast. Like, because Haseo got to level 133 within eight months. So, it's supposed- and, and he was, like, supposed- supposedly having to, like, you know, really go all out and, like, spend way too much time playing the game. But, like, if you just played the game normally, as is, as if it was just, like, a video game, like you, a person, not like you, a fictional person, then you could get that level, like, so easily. Because it's, it's so easy to level up in here. And I wish there were more times, like, more cutscenes within fields and stuff that, like, kind of emphasized, you know, we're all just kind of walking and taking our time and battles take a long time to do. It's like, that's one of the things I liked most about Dot Hack Sign, the anime from uh, the first generation of Dot Hack games, because, like, they showed that off pretty well, and maybe it's because I have seen some of Dot Hack Sign before playing the PS2 games that I kind of got into that mentality. Because I, I guess the games don't really show that off particularly well, either. There are, like, a few cutscenes um, that show people, like, you know, battles as being more intense and stuff and taking longer and things, but... I don't know. It's it's just something I don't see a lot in GU. Maybe it's be also because I haven't really watched Roots nearly as much as I watched Dot Hack Sign. You know, I am very curious to see what this, um, revisiting the Dot Hack Roots is gonna do for my, uh, interpretation of Gu. Because, like, the games are one thing, but, like, I don't know, I, I do still want to consider Roots to be, like, an important part of the Gu experience, just because there's so much there, and because you're not actually playing the game yourself, but, like, just watching a TV show, I, I feel like that will get you, like, a better perspective. But anyway, so we got a, we got a new area word from the forums about the next part of the Serenos quest. And there was nothing in this dungeon, so I just kind of skipped a few rooms here. You know, you you guys know how this goes by now. We're gonna find an evil vital vista, he's gonna summon goblins. Whatever. It's like I <laughs> part of me doesn't even know why I even keep this in, in the first place, but you know, you never know. I, I don't know. Maybe someone's amused by it. It, it is. It, it all leads up to a post-game battle, so, you know, provides some kind of context. I like how Asayo just, like, has his hand on his hips as someone just gets blasted with fire, just watching it. I can never tell if these guys are, like, the same ones over and over, or just, like, there's, like, an endless amount of minions. I, th I think they have to be the same ones. In Volume 3, you meet, like, the Vital Vista that's supposed to be these evil dudes' teachers. Teacher, I guess? I, I don't know. I I'm not really too sure. Or care. <laughs> it's all dumb video gamey in game in video game video gamey stuff if that makes any sense Here goes. you know with like the storylines for like the quests and everything i know i'm not really like reading or explaining much about like the context of the quests you do but like i always felt like they were kind of like a parody of like what you expect in the game anyway which is why i don't give them a lot of shit 
and I do give, like, shit to the actual story in GU, because, you know, I don't think of that as, like, a parody, I think of that as, like, the actual story to the game. I don't know, it's weird, it's like, it's like a layered thing. Like, me as the player, viewing .hack GU's story, and having my own personal thoughts about it. But then it's like, the characters within GU doing the story of the game that they're playing, it's like, I don't really care that much, if that makes any sense. Man, Tonhack is so confusing. It's so much more confusing than it really needs to be. Yeah, man. Still think it's a unique concept, just not really, you know, executing it as well as it could have. I don't know, with all this, like, trash-talking on GU, I kind of can't help but wonder, like... I, I don't know. I, I know I I've been unintentionally, like, you know, hyping up the original games more. And I did play through them a couple of years ago, and I did enjoy myself. I did also get burnt out. I'm not gonna deny that, and I do think they're too long as a whole to revisit. But... You know, I'd like to believe, since it was only a couple of years ago, and that, since that revisit, it was like years and years and years since the last time I played it, that I'm correct in thinking that I did enjoy it a lot more. But I, I don't know, maybe... I don't know, I don't know why I'm second-guessing myself. It's weird, and then there's like the nostalgia part of it too, because like... I, I did play the- I did go through the original generation of .hack stuff, and then the GU generation, at two completely different times in my life. And, I, I don't know. It was weird. After I graduated high school, I had a lot of, like, nostalgia and, like, yearning to go, want to go back and re-experience high school again. Which was really stupid, because I was miserable in high school, but I guess I was thinking, like, you know, since I was getting a little more mature and a little more confident, I could, like, re-tackle some of the problems I had the first time with, and just have a better time with it. Or maybe I was just remembering, like, the good things about it, too, but... After I graduated high school, like, a lot of the things I liked in high school had, like, a lot of nostalgic memories, like, really spiked up for me. But then after I graduated college, a lot of the college stuff really started to, like, take priority over me. And, and it's, like, the same thing, too. College was, like, a pain in the ass, and I was pretty miserable during that time, too. But, like, I, I remember all, of, like, the better times I have, like, first and foremost. But, like... I don't know, since I'm kind of, like, in a weird period right now where, like, when it comes to nostalgia, stuff I, you know, did during college and then stuff I did as, like, a kid are taking, like, the biggest priority for me. And stuff that I liked in high school just seems like such a distant memory. Like, you'd think that the GU series would be something I'd, I'm more, like, nostalgic for and I'd be, like, excusing more, but it's, it's just not. There is just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I didn't do that second playthrough, like, right after I lost interest in anime. But, I, I don't know. I, I think I would have just been as even more disappointed with this playthrough now, just because... So, uh, really I don't know. Let's listen to Alcade well, instead. It, right? <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Oh, uh, Alkane Al plays, like, this great role in, like, blending, showing her feelings towards Hisao just right out there in the open and trolling Adelie. And it's just, it's so amusing to me. And it's weird that I find it so amusing because it's, like, the melodrama aspect of Giyu is, like, one of the things I hate most about it. And this whole thing, this whole weird love triangle between Haseo, Alcade, and Adelie just seems like that that's as melodrama as it can get, but I, I don't know. Alcade's just like, she's such a freaking nerd, and I love it. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. It's like she just like walks into the story and just like, I don't know, just, just has fun with it. 
I mean, she doesn't always do it. She does have a more serious side, too. That gets pretty cheesy, but, like, whatever. Still, I think Alcade's a very welcome addition to the GU cast. But anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about, like, a bunch of nostalgia stuff. I, I don't know. It it's, it's so weird. I my memories are just so jumbled when thinking about this kind of stuff. I don't know. Because, like, I, I really sometimes have, like, a hard time, like, wondering, do I prefer the original series more just because I enjoyed the time I spent with it more? And, and I want to say no, because at the time when I first got into GU, I enjoyed it just as much. In fact, at sometimes it kind of felt like I enjoyed it more than the original series just because I was, like, all the GU stuff like, involves retelling this story about Haseo, so it felt like I was experiencing it again and again and again and again, despite playing the games, like, far fewer times than the original series. So, then I think, okay, well, is the original series better just because it's, like, objectively better? And I think, well, yeah, but I mean, it still has a lot of problems in it, too. I mean... Like, I, I like that the... What I like about the original series, and I, I don't mean just the PS2 games, but I mean, like, the entire original generation of Dot .hack stuff, is that almost all of, like, the different titles were, like, standalone stuff. Like, the PS2 games told its own story, Dot .hack Sign told its own story, the manga told its own story, the novels told its own story. It's like... It may have been confusing to, like, explain to a newcomer about, like, how it all fits in, but, like, you didn't need to, like, do as much homework to, like, understand what was going on. I think each thing did a pretty okay job about explaining, you know, the context of everything. The, the only things that might seem a little weird going in is... Dot .hack sign, while I fully claim and still claim it has its own story that it tries to do, does ultimately try to pave its way to the games, like setting up for the games. And then the ending is a pretty big letdown if, you know, if, if you're gonna watch the show as just like an anime show. I mean, there is like a really sweet and nice moment at the very end that I just personally get satisfaction for, but like... The stuff they're doing towards the end of the show just kind of halts with no resolution whatsoever. And then, the games may feel like they're a bit rushed in the beginning or giving you too much information at once. Because, you know, unfortunately, even though they don't, you know, obsess about giving a lot of context in Dot Hack Sign, it's still something that's, like, there, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I, I have always had like a hard time explaining <laughs> dot hack to anyone. But I, my point is, they they all kind of like stood on their own as their own thing. They they all gave like different perspective perspectives and like different pieces to like world build the world as the online game. And I like that. But GU just kind of like. I don't like how GU, like, retreads the same shit over and over and over again. Dot Hack Roots, I would say, is different enough just because it covers a completely different time period in Haseo's life and gives some, and hopefully gives some much needed context. Like I said, I, I'm gonna revisit that and get all my thoughts updated and gathered and whatnot. But, like, the manga just kind of retells GU. The novels just retells Giyu. Like, the movie just retells Giyu. It's like... Why? And that's, like, and that's like another thing that just kind of like irritates me more as time goes on. Because it's like... You all know I can't stand Haseo. So it's like, if I can't stand Haseo in the games... Why am I going to like him any more in all of these, like, abridged versions of GU? It's like... If you don't like the character and you don't like the story, like, why would you like this generation? Because it's just the same thing over and over. 
I think there's only, like, one thing in the Geo generation that I didn't get, and unfortunately it seems to be, like, a pretty important part, but it was never released in English, so... Oh well. Um... And that's... Like, I, I guess it's like a manga that, like, connects how Sora, like, transitioned into Haseo. Sora being a character from Dot Hack Sign, and that's who Haseo is supposedly. And I say supposedly because after playing through all three volumes now, I can clearly state that never once do they ever say that it's him. You know, I was thinking at maybe one point, Haseo's real name might be revealed in an email, and it would be the same real name that's revealed as Sora's real, uh, offline person in Don Hack Sign, but I've never seen it. You know, it may- maybe, like, in some obscure email thread that I didn't get, it's there, but, you know, main game, it it's not. It's not there at all. Like, Haseo being Sora feels, like, so tacked on and unnecessary that I just... I don't know, but at the same time, it, it feels like, you know, every time I have looked up information about Dot Hack GU, like, everybody really wants to push that he's Sora, and, like, that's a huge part of his character, and it's like, I'm sorry, I just don't see it. Maybe that manga explains something, like, better, but I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it felt really stupid that that was, like, never translated. Or maybe it was, like, after I lost interest in anime. I don't know. The last I heard, it was still just, you know, just a sole Japanese thing, but... Like, I don't know. And then there's, like, some other aspects, too, that just kind of feel tacked on. Like, Kuhn is supposed to be this obscure character from the first generation, but it's never, like, mentioned at all in the game, either. It's, like, I think it's first brought up in the manga, and it's, like... Okay, I, I don't know, because like I said, like a few times before, th there's this one section, and I, I gotta find it, I gotta pull out these books and like, go through them. There there's this one, like, note from somebody that worked on GU, saying that, like, there is no canon, you know, version of GU. They're, they, they all hold, like, equal weight. And it, like, never made sense to me, because it's like, what, what do you mean? Like, I spent, like, 60 hours playing through this video game, and that's, like, the same weight as, like, this five-volume manga, or however long it was? It's like, no, I'm sorry, it's not. And, and that's why I could go and say things like, I consider the video games and the anime to be, like, the core experience of the GU generation because I feel like it adds the most to the table, and it's... I, I don't want to say because it takes the longest to go through, but it, it does feel kind of like the most important parts of the experience. You know, and that, that leads to, like, another confusing aspect of Dot Hack because I feel like Dot Hack definitely caters to anime fans more than video, game, video gamers. And... Like, both for the first generation and GU, I feel like the video games make the core experience of, like, what it's supposed to be. And, I, I don't know, it, it's it's confusing, because then I, I, I'm assuming there's, like, a ton of anime fans out there that read the manga and love what they read, but then they may have, like, you know, you know, who knows, they weren't into games. Maybe they were just reading that as is and, like, getting their information from that. It's like, I don't know. Like, I, I thought... I th <laughs> it's so confusing. I, I think... I think Dot Hack was, like, really ambitious to try to make, like, a cross-media franchise that, like, gave you bits and pieces to, like, a bigger experience and world. But at the same time, I feel like... Like, particularly with GU, like, it relies so much on, like, other pieces. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This is... Oh, boy. <laughs> I've confused myself. I've been talking the entire video about this, and, and I have not, like, made, like, one single mention of anything at all. <laughs> oh, God. Why don't, why don't we... <laughs> why don't we take a break from my thoughts on Dot Hack as a whole for a second and talk about what's going on in the game. We're just training. That, that's all there is, but... I don't know. Let's let's maybe talk about something else.
for a little bit, for the last couple minutes of the video. Let's talk about how giant Maseo's sword is again. Like, this sword in particular, I remember having on for like a long time. Oh, it's gone now, though. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. It it's huge. Like, it's so big. It's so ridiculously big. And I think of Cloud from Final Fantasy VII every time I see it, because... Because people always, like, go on about how exaggerated Cloud's Buster Sword is, and it's like, I think it's big, but I don't think it's nearly as big as other people are saying it is. And then I look at something like Dothack GU, and it's like, man, people should maybe, like, look at that sword for just, like, comparison. I don't know. You know, at the same time, though, I do like the exaggerated weapons in GU. I think they're funny. I think they're ca almost cartoony, and they, like, bring something more humorous to the table. Like, the slice- the slice- oh my god, I'm having the hardest time speaking today. The size in particular, I like because they have, like, that big blade on top and, like, this super thin, long handle on the bottom. And it's like, I look at that weapon and I know I'm supposed to suspend my, uh, realistic expectations in a video game like this, but... I keep imagining, like, that weapon snapping in half every time Sayo swings it. I almost want it to, like, the handle itself to, like, bend as he's, like, swinging it in, like, a cartoony way. Just... Because it, it, it just... Like, that's the natural feel I, I think of when he swings it, that it should, like, bend. Like, it's like the skull hammer from Wind Waker to, like, make yet another Zelda reference, but... Like, I don't know. That That's what I think of when, uh, when the scythe is brought up. But, yeah, man, I'm, I'm so happy we have the scythe again. Like, I, I got so sick of using that broadsword exclusively. I'm so freaking excited we can change weapons anytime we want. It was almost like a tease in, like, the opening, one of the opening cutscenes showing Haseo being able to wield all three of those. And then, like, once you get your second weapon, you can't just, like, take it out whenever you want. But, anyway, next time I guess we're going to finish up this training area, and it's actually gaining us some good levels, so that's good. I'll see you later, guys.